everybody, Mark Fox here with Amazing Prophecies YouTube channel, Forever Free Ministries. Well, if this begins to sound a little bit like bullshit, it's probably because it is. Every move that you make is recorded in the air. So with the backdrop of the Brexit drama, in this video, I will quickly share with you some very relevant end time prophecies that the news media will not tell you and almost no one is talking about. So get ready for the prophetic news behind the big news. Stay tuned. What this person in particular is mostly doing is simply, well, talking about the news and then saying, Hey, you know what the Bible says? I want to encourage you, get your phone because I want to put in your hands. I have several handouts here, hands or another handout called 50 things to do on the Sabbath. All you need to do is get your phone and text Bible to the short number. You are invited to a meet and greet, free dinner at a nice restaurant to be announced with yours truly and my family in Louisville, Kentucky. Free dinner for up to four in your group. Also some powerful prophecy magazines we're going to put in your hands. It's Sunday, August 4, 6.30 p.m. More information to Northwest Arkansas. Northwest um, basically, it's attention whoring for a particular belief, a particular Christian kind of movement or sect, and they use these methods all the time. Other people do as well, whether it's a money-based thing or whether it's simply about getting more people to go to church. They basically follow the news, talk about the news, shoehorn in a few uh, bits of, well, very, very heavily selected prophecies, and then say, it's evidence. Is Bible prophecy unfolding right before our very eyes? So with 100 days to go, the clock is ticking for make or Brexit. This fall, and many anxious Britons and the onlooking world from opposing politicians to nervous investors are predicting that Brexit will not happen. So they're saying the European Union, well, that's like the Titanic that's going to go down. Brexit, no matter what, PM Johnson promises as sterling falls. The British pound fell on Tuesday as investors for Johnson's Brexit. Brinkmanship could trigger a messy divorce that would sow chaos through the world economy and financial markets. God gave to King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon a dream that predicted the future of the world from that point onward. God told the king in this dream that there would be four world empires starting with Babylon followed by Medo-Persia, Greece, and Rome. After Rome would come divided Europe represented by the ten toes of the metal image that God had shown the king in his dream. If it comes true, told you, proved it. Therefore, the Bible's true, therefore, everything in the Bible's true, therefore, every claim in the Bible must be true. Everything said by the preacher, every interpreted uh, view regarding the Bible must be true, at least to some degree. Well, people can get things wrong, but hey, God can't get things wrong. Therefore, you should believe and come to church and try and be a good Christian and be that particular type of Christian because that's their logic. They don't think about, well, it may or may not be true. They don't think about that so much, but they do tend to perpetuate their belief, their ideas. Daniel 2 verse 43 disallows any possibility for Europe to be politically united in terms of a cohesive, lasting whole. No, ever since the centuries that followed the collapse of the Roman Empire, kings and conquerors and other statesmen have tried to bring Europe together again. Most of the efforts to do this have been military, but Charlemagne, was the first one back in the 800s. Later, you had the Holy Roman Emperor, Charles V, during the 1500s, and King Louis XIV of France during the next century. 100 years after that, we saw Napoleon come close to uniting Europe through an amazing journey of conquests, all right? So, during the 20th century, Kaiser Wilhelm and Adolf Hitler of Germany made this effort. But in every single case, starting with Charlemagne, these efforts have miserably failed. Then, fast forward, the formation of the European Union, the EU, with the Treaty of Rome in 1957 has been the most significant of these attempts. But Switzerland has never been part of this union. And with the departure of the UK from the EU in 2016 Brexit vote, it is again becoming clear that the toes of the image described in King Nebuchadnezzar's dream will not, as the prophet Daniel foretold, cleave to one another. You know, people have used these same things to say, oh yes, uh, biblical prophecy fulfilled, the same prophecies in, you know, 1914 
1940 or well, 1939, 1940, uh, or say with the Soviet era or Cold War, yes, division, and oh, things are breaking up now, yes, the end of the Cold War, and it's a lot of division, okay, they're coming together now and they're cooperating, Maastricht Treaty, okay, um, oh, but things are falling apart more recently, well, yes, okay, that means it must be biblical prophecy coming through. It doesn't matter if it's true or false in that context, because what they're doing is selecting information and then trying to make it work. And if it doesn't work, well, okay, maybe not this year, maybe next year, maybe 50, 70, 100 years from now, maybe a thousand years from now, why not? If you operate in that way, you can make anything work. And what they're mostly doing, what this person in particular is mostly doing, is simply, well, talking about the news. And then saying, hey, you know what the Bible says? Oh, right, okay. Or some other prophecy, or some other, not, not even prophecy, some other story or dream or suggestion of prophecy, which we can call prophecy, and if it comes true to any degree, great. If it doesn't, then simply ignore that. Perhaps, um, perhaps that will come true in the future, because, hey, no one can know the time of the end, so no one can truly define prophecy, which is awfully convenient. And so, yes... This is the kind of shit you get. It's, as I say, attention whoring. It's about getting people going to the video. Or there's in the tags, uh, you know, Brexit, Boris Johnson, the European Union, Bible prophecies. A lot of stuff to get a lot of attention. And it gets huge amounts of views. Now, if you're doing events and you're generating money and you're paying yourself out of your, well, generous donations from your followers, you can do quite well out of this gig. You can say, oh yes, yes, I'm, I'm just a simple preacher man. I'm travelling the country. I'm trying to get people to think about God. And you can do that. And you can do that quite well. And you can be a supposedly legitimate church, as many of these people are. And then you can still line your pockets. Hey, I've got myself a new car. But that's out of my wages. You know, it's, uh, it's perfectly above board. Don't worry about it. Do you think that God would want me wearing... Anything less than a good suit on Sunday, you know, or wearing a bit of bling, you know. It's simply the way it goes. It's essentially a scam. It's worse than many of the New Age scams I mentioned, but I think you knew that.